Hey dolls and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to share with you some drugstore makeup that performs like high-end makeup. I would say some of them are not exactly a dupe of the high-end makeup, but a very good inexpensive alternative to them. So let's start with primers. I recently added this to my bridal makeup kit, especially for mature clients and the mother of the bride. This is the NYX Plump Right Back Plumping Serum Plus Primer. And this reminds me of the high-end Huda Beauty Water Jelly Primer. The Huda Beauty Primer is a little watery than the NYX one, but they both hydrate the skin and really prime the skin before makeup. And I also noticed that the top ingredients for the Huda Beauty Primer and the NYX Primer are almost identical. I've tried many foundations with this NYX Primer and all of them always blends seamlessly on top and it really extends the wear of my foundation. Next, Glow Tint. This drugstore dupe has been all over social media. It's so hard for me to grab one in my local drugstore because as soon as they stock the shelf, it's always sold out. This is the ELF's Halo Glow Liquid Filter. It's a near flawless dupe to the Charlotte Tilbury's Flawless Filter. I got the shade number three medium on ELF and you can almost tell the difference between the two, but the thing that I noticed the most is that the e.l.f. one has more tint to it than the Charlotte Tilbury. With the Charlotte Tilbury, it's thin enough that you can really see your skin underneath. But with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter, you can almost see like a tint underneath the skin so your skin wouldn't show off as much. I also like that with the e.l.f. Glow Tint, you can double it as a primer. But with the Charlotte Tilbury, since it's very thin, you can't make it as your primer. My next drugstore superstar is the L'Oreal True Match Hyaluronic Tinted Serum, which I think is comparable to the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. Both base share a gorgeous lightweight texture and they provide a lovely no makeup makeup effect. L'Oreal's formula feels slightly thicker, almost like a more dense liquid, while NARS feels a little more watery. When it comes to shade range, the L'Oreal Tint Serum is quite limited. There's only nine shades. So I got the shade four to five medium, and it's more beige than yellow, but because of its formula, it's more adaptable, so it actually blended well with my skin tone. Let's talk about concealer next. This is the e.l.f. concealer, which I think is a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Applicator-wise, both have the same big doe foot applicator, but the best thing I like with the e.l.f. is that it performs as well as the Tarte. It's as full coverage comparable to Tarte with a creamy and a little heavy texture, but you can sheer it out to medium coverage. It does not crease under my eyes and this concealer can stay on for quite a really long time. Next is bronzer and it's another one from e.l.f. This actually surprised me the most. I have the shade Tan Line, which is more of a grayish brown than the Chanel's 290 Soleil Tan Bronzer. Side by side, there's a big color difference. The Chanel ones look more orange, while the e.l.f. one looks more tan or grayish brown. But when it comes to coverage and blendability, they're almost the same. I also find that the e.l.f. is very smooth and creamy me and when you blend it out it doesn't lift all your base underneath it lasts all day without fading and it dries down into a semi matte finish that feels more like a powder their shade range is also all-inclusive and this product just works very very well next up cream blush another one from elf this is the elf Pretty blush. The shade Do We Know Her from Patrick Tass Collection is very similar to the e.l.f. Turks and Caicos Pretty Blush. e.l.f. cream blushes are very pigmented. They can easily be sheared out or intensified by layering. It also dries down into a powder finish. And since it's cream, you can also set this cream blushes with a powder blush or a translucent powder to extend the long wear of this cream blushes. A good trick to using this cream blush is to warm it on the back of your hand first before applying. That way it melts a little bit and it's easier to apply on your face. 
I definitely recommend these cream blushes and for $6, you can't go wrong with them. Next, powders. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I have it in the shade Fair Light, which is very comparable to Huda Beauty's Pound Cake. I have made a detailed comparison between these two powders and on that video, the winner for me was the Maybelline powder because it just gave me more of that flawless look. It minimized the look of my pores and overall, it just gave more coverage. So the side of my face with the Maybelline powder just looks more smoother than the Huda Beauty one. And from then on, I find myself grabbing this powder instead of my high-end powders. When it comes to wearability, both of them actually really wear for a long time. But considering the cost, Maybelline is definitely a winner. The next one is liquid lipstick and this is the NYX Shine Out Loud lipstick. And I can easily compare this with the Chanel Ultra Wear Liquid Color. My favorite shade from Chanel is Tender Beige and I think the closest shade that they have for NYX is Ambition Statement. With this too, I have to say that the Chanel wins when it comes to wearability, especially for lighter shades because with the NYX one, especially with their light shades, when you eat and drink, it usually wears out, especially inside your lips, like this part. But with the Chanel, even if you eat and drink, the lipstick will still stay on. But I have used NYX shades that are darker, especially the red shades. Those red shades last me until the next day. They're both comfortable in the lips and they both have the same technology. So both double-ended. One end has a liquid lipstick and one end has a translucent gloss to really seal the liquid lipstick so it will last long on your lips. But NYX is only 17 Canadian dollars and the Chanel one is 52 Canadian dollars. This year is all about lip glosses and lip oil, so we can't skip to mention the Milani Fruit Fetish Lip Oil. I've tried every shade or flavor of this Milani Fruit Fetish Lip Oil and I love all of them except for the lime one. It just reminds me of a toilet cleaner, but the rest I love. It reminds me of Skittles candy and it just really hydrates my lips so well. I haven't used the Dior Lip Oil personally but when I posted my swatches of the Milani fruit fetish lip oil on my channel there were a lot of positive comments about the lip oil and one of them even said that they'd rather use the Milani one than the Dior one so it says a lot about this lip oil the next product is the NYX micro brow pencil I have gone through a lot of this pencil like I love 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 I hoard it in my drugstore because sometimes they run out of my favorite shade which is taupe it's very comparable to the high-end Anastasia brow whisk I personally love the shade taupe for NYX and then I like the shade soft brown for the Anastasia brow whisk I like the shade taupe because it's not too dark and not too reddish so you get this really natural looking brows with it. It applies really easily and stays put perfectly. It's not heavy nor dry and I think it's a very beginner friendly brow product. I want to end this video with the brow product but then I realized I have one more drugstore favorite that I think I could definitely compare to a high-end product. So the last product that I'm going to feature is the e.l.f. Rose Gold Sunset Palette, which I think is a perfect dupe for the Huda Beauty Naughty Nude Palette. I know that the Huda Beauty has a lot more eyeshadows than this Rose Gold Palette, but I find that most of my favorite colors from this palette is already here like I don't usually use the multi-dimension shadows here I usually use the reddish brown the orange matte and obviously this maroon satin finish eyeshadow that I already hit pan on and I don't know if elf read my mind they put on 
my favorite satin finish from the Huda Beauty palette and also the orange and the reddish brown matte shades that I like from the palette so if you love any rose gold palette but you are a beginner and you just want to play with colors first this is a good alternative the eyeshadows are very pigmented it really blends well on my eyes and I just love all the colors on this palette so that ends my video. If you have any drugstore makeup product that you think performs like high-end that I didn't cover on this video, just comment down below what it is so we can help the community out. Thank you so, so much again, dolls, for watching. And if you learned something from this video, please don't forget to like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll always be updated once a new video is out. Thank you so, so much, dolls, again, for watching. I'll see you on my next one.